Hello and welcome to SWS. In this particular video, we are going to be doing the answer key. We are going to be discussing the answer key to the biology paper for ICSC class 10. The general feedback from students is that it was quite an easy paper, though there were a couple of questions which could have proved tricky. Uh, and we will discuss that as we go along. Let's discuss the MCQs first. The first one, the mineral element in hemoglobin is the correct answer is B, option iron. The number of cranial nerves in humans are 12 pairs, that is option D. Gigantism and acromegaly are due to option A, hypersecretion of growth hormone. Pericardium covers the heart. Uh, I remember doing a question linking it with the reproductive, reproductive system in one of the MCQs, uh, PYQs that we had done on YouTube. The circular opening in the center of iris is D, pupil. The blood vessels that carries oxygenated blood is pulmonary vein, B. Seventh, organ of corti is present inside the cochlea. The structure that stores urine temporarily is the urinary bladder, C. Islets of Langerhans are located in the pancreas. Option D. Tenth, the main nitrogenous waste formed in the human body is urea. So that's as far as the MCQs are concerned. Section A. Let's move to section B in which you have to attempt three but most of the students I am told have attempted almost all of them or at least one extra for sure. That's a good thing. Simple goiter is usually seen in people living in the hilly regions. Give two reasons for this statement. Now a question like this usually comes for one mark with one reason to be given. So students would have struggled to an extent to give two reasons because the reasons would in any case be interlinked. So you could read, write something like soil in the hilly areas is deficient in iodine due to leaching. Hence vegetation is lacking in iodine and iodine is necessary for the production of thyroxine. Those are the only ways you could actually link up the two, give the two reasons for the statement. What are the two types of blood circulation in humans? Pulmonary and systemic circulation. Mention the three major steps involved in the production of urine. Ultrafiltration, reabsorption and tubular secretion. Then of course the fourth one is to asking you to draw a neat diagram of a neuron and label any two parts. I hope you would have done that. I'm going to focus mainly on the keywords that are necessary in any of these answers. Now, uh, yeah, what is adrenal virilism and what causes this condition? Now, this is the development or the premature development of male secondary sexual characteristics caused by male sex hormones. What causes this? It is caused by male sex hormones, androgens, excessively produced by the adrenal gland. So, that's as far as this two marks question is concerned. Which is the light sensitive layer of the eyeball retina where exactly is the image formed on this layer yellow spot then you need to study the diagram and answer the questions that follow identify the defect of the eye by mentioning the technical term hypermetropia mention one reason for this defect uh, in this in this you need to talk about how the eyeball shortens from the front to the back and the convex lens becomes less convex and it prevents basically the incoming light from focusing directly on the retina. Uh, name the type of lens used to correct this uh, a defect, convex lens. Give the biological terms for the three tiny bones present in the middle ear, the ear ossicle. Question number four, name the endocrine gland that secretes thyroxine, thyroid. Name any function of thyroxine, uh, basically to control body metabolism. It also regulates heart condition. You could have mentioned any one of them. Give the full form of the abbreviation ACTH, adrenocorticotropic hormone, which gland secretes this hormone, the pituitary gland, right? Uh, define the term synapse. Now, how do you define that? It's a junction between two neurons that allows communication between them, okay? Yeah. Uh, how are cytons and... Uh, and in this you could say dendritis from one neuron and the nerve endings of the other neuron and how are the cytons and the axons of neuron present in the cerebrum, cytons on the periphery while the axons in the 
center. Name the three membranous coverings of the human brain, dura mater, arachnoid and pia mater. Name the nerve, question number 5, name the nerve that transmits impulses to the brain from the ear and the eye, the auditory nerves and the optic nerves. A mature mammalian erythrocyte lacks nucleus and mitochondria but is efficient in its functioning. Explain by giving suitable reasons. It is to in order to accommodate more hemoglobin and hence more oxygen molecules. Now then there is this diagram in which the third part is also uh, given from the same area which is a little strange right. Cerebrum, cerebellum and the third part is uh, should actually be pons medulla oblongata but the way the arrow is drawn it seems to be also drawn from the cerebellum. Um, what is a reflex um, a reaction? Uh, state any function of the part numbered one it is for logic and reasoning. What is a reflex reaction? Involuntary and sudden response to stimuli and an integral part of the survival instinct. Give the exact location of pulmonary semilunar wall. Where does it close? Ventricle diastole. Uh, name the hormones whose deficiency uh, causes diabetes mellitus, insulin. The second one is ADH, diabetes insipidus. Uh, then you have to draw a diagram and mention one function for each of the following. Lymphocytes, basically uh, reorganize and uh, recognize uh, Eliminate threats to the body by taking care of the uh, immunity uh, and production of antibodies, thrombocytes for clotting, uh, neutrophils that protects us from uh, any kind of infection. So that's as far as the function for each of the following is concerned. With this we come to the end of the answer key for the biology exam. Next up is the optional subjects examination. I do hope you all of you do very well. Thank you very much for watching.